everybody back to Becoming Podcast. Today we have Catherine Taken with us and uh, welcome. Thank welcome you. Thank here. you for having me. Yeah, it's lovely. Before we get underway, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Jim at dreaminc.eu and Hotel Boutique Leonardo here in Portal. So thank you very much for your support, guys. Thank you very much. Hey. Lovely to have you here. I know. How you. come? How come you're in New York? How, how come you got to be living here? Oh, that's a good question. Um, it was a synchronicity of three things actually. Okay. So, uh, first thing happened: my husband, who's a yacht captain, got a job here permanently based in Mallorca, and the owners of the boat were really wanting to keep the family unit together, so asked us if we would come and live over here. Um, my daughter's school closed. Oh. So there was another oh. indication that something was moving. Yeah. And then our landlord from the house said, uh, you know, we'd like to take the house back because we'd like to sell it. And when you see that <laughs> synchronicity, <laughs> one, two, yeah, three, yeah, yeah, we yeah. were like, you know what, we love the island. Yeah. Having both been sailors in sort of previous lives, and Dallas, yes. my husband, still is a sailor. Yes. Um, we decided, why not? We love the island, so, so wow. come and have a new adventure. Fantastic. Yeah. So Fantastic. we've been here a year now. I love it. I, I love it yeah. when things like that come together, isn't it? It's yeah. just showing you, it's not just one or two, but when three messages come through yeah. from our guides, from, from everybody that's there. And we've got some wonderful samples here on the table. What do you do? What, what is all this? Well, really, firstly, I'm a massage therapist. Okay. Um, a mum, a wife, and a student of life. I think that's, we have to get that in there. Yep. And I'm in the, currently in the school of unlearning, and this is where the adventure starts, because everything I thought I knew, I've re-looked at and thought, you know, let's have a look at this all over again. Yep. And now I'm in the school of relearning. And this is where I came into Shungite. And this, all that you can see here is a collection of Shungite. And really, I came into this during the COVID period. Right, right. So what, what is Shungite? Well, Shungite is a non-crystalline black mineraloid. Mineral, I love that word. Mineraloid. mineraloid. Is word. <laughs> and uh, in its rawest form, this is a piece of Shungite elite. Yes. And it's believed to have come from a meteor that landed in an area in Russia, a little village called Shunga, ah, which is where it gets its name, Shungite. And this is believed to have occurred over two billion years ago. Wow. So obviously we're not around at that time to know for certain, yeah, but from yeah. all of the scientists that have been working on it, that's the, the general consensus is that's the understanding. So, and um, it has a number of incredible properties. So one of the first things, which is where I got into it, was because it harmonizes and attenuates electromagnetic frequencies. Right. So during COVID, I couldn't work as a massage therapist. Mm -hmm. So I started doing some research, always been interested in energy, frequency and vibration. Yeah. Just always, always, always realize that there's something else going on that we can't see that has an effect on us. Sure. And so that was looking into mm -hmm. the rollout of 5G. And I was a bit alarmed by what I discovered. Yes. Um, the fact that we've gone from 4G, which is 3 to 4 gigahertz, to 5G, which is 24. Yes. That's an eightfold increase. It's huge, isn't it? Huge. huge. And people don't realise the difference, really. No, and the safety concerns and the safety testing for that, mm -hmm. that concerned me that it hadn't really been done mm -hmm. and that we are the experiment. Yes. So yeah. the fact that you can't see it, it's another form of radiation, it's another pollutant. Yes. Um, but this one has major effects yes. on the body yeah. um, and radiation sickness uh, manifests itself in things like tinnitus, headaches and migraines, fatigue, numbness, general feeling of um, brain fog. So these kind of things, they are radiation sickness illnesses right. Right. and we're seeing that more and more, and more yeah. at the moment which, is, which caused me concern, especially with a young family. Mm -hmm. So I started to look at solutions because I was like, listen, that every single problem yeah. has a solution. Yeah. We just need to find it. Yeah. And that's when I stumbled across Shungite. Wow. And I love the fact it was natural. Um, and what it actually does is every single molecule that makes up a piece of Shungite is called a fullerene. Okay. And it's shaped like a soccer ball. Right. And what happens is all man-made radiation so since the time of electricity mm -hmm. is all left rotating the right. electromagnetic field yeah. and we as human beings and the sun and the earth we all right rotate so it's natural okay and what happens is those emfs create an imbalance in our natural rotation 
which means when you do like a kinesiology test, yeah. you can actually see that imbalance on the body and you are weakened. Yes, yes. And yes. what this does, cleverly enough, however it does it, it turns that from left rotation into a right rotation. Right. So when you wear a piece of shungite, I've got yes. a little moon on me and yes, some yes. bracelets here. I always have some piece of shungite on me. Um, what it's doing is it's harmonizing all of that for right. me. So it's harmless to the body. Um, and it comes in lots of different forms and it has many, many other health benefits as well, right. including helping with things like insomnia, um, it's great for your blood, yeah. it's um, uh, really good for meditation. Mm -hmm. So these, for example, are some harmonizing rods and as a massage therapist in between my clients to sort of clear the energy and the meridians mm -hmm. and the chakras of my body, I can sit with Shungite. So the Shungite mm -hmm. is in the left hand and this will be an other. So this will okay. be a yin material like mm -hmm. soapstone or statite. And then this is the yang, the male energy. Right. And you hold them and you can sit and just relax and enjoy that for about five minutes. And this will be re-energizing the right. body. Right. And some people can feel it. Yes. You know, when you hold it, yes. you can actually yes. feel it. sensitive enough to, 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 to feel that. To feel and we, we did this test we, uh, with a full moon ceremony that we, you came to a little while ago. We did that test with, a, with everyone, didn't you? That large group. Oh yes, I had the energy stick. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. didn't bring it today. I'm sorry, I should have oh. brought that long today. Never mind. We have a, a, an energy stick that when you hold, as we are conductors of electricity, you hold both sides and it creates light and sound. That's right. And you hold that. And one of the things that Shungite is, it is also a conductor of electricity. So you put that on one end and you will see that it'll still light up and make the sound as well. That's right. And that, yes, yes. we did that in a large group, didn't yeah, we? Did. So yeah, we yeah, had yeah, like yeah. 20 people all holding right. hands yeah. and we made the, the little gadget come alive. Yes. And then we put a piece of shungite in between yeah. and did the same. And I think the magic of that is to see, especially the children, yes. they yeah, were just yeah. like, yeah. oh my goodness, this yeah. is magic. Is. They, yeah. they, they did, didn't they? Yeah. They loved yeah. it. They, they, thought, love it. It they thought it was their little superpower. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, it was very good, yeah. yeah. And so is there a science behind this? Well, three professors won the Nobel Prize for chemistry for their discovery of the fullerenes that make up the sugar. Oh, wow. Okay. So it is all scientifically proven. Yes. And there is a lot of data on it. But obviously you're going to have people out there that will poo-poo the fact that, you know, a <coughs> mineraloid from outer space is yes. going to be able to do anything. Yes. But the Russians use this all the time. They actually use um, a shungite paint that they put with all their armory and their tanks and all their equipment. They are well ahead of sure. us in terms of their you know, protection for the, the general public yes. and also for their military. Yes. So they yeah. all do it. Peter the Great, who was the first Tsar that really found out about shungite, right. Um, he used to give it all to his soldiers okay. um, and the reason he gave it to his soldiers is because it also purifies water. Ah, okay. So they discovered that the people that lived in the area of Shunga were really healthy mm. and Peter the Great, he actually had a liver problem himself and some of his men had scurvy and also uh, there was a copper factory nearby and a lot of those men were sick they were right. poisoned by some of the processes of producing the copper sure and they were fed the fountain of youth water which was water that had been passed through the area of shunga and they made a miraculous recovery yeah as did peter the great and his problems with his liver so he uh, called for an investigation mm -hmm. and they did some research and he was he opened the first ever spa in the area near Karelia wow. on Lake Onega, which is where you know they did lots of treatments and yeah. they, they helped lots of people. Wow. So what it actually does with with, with terms of water is um, it neutralizes toxins. Mm -hmm. So anything like heavy metals, chlorine, fluoride, a bacteria. Right. In fact, they did a study um, and they had uh, uh, bars of water and it had E. coli in. They put the shungite in that water and after three days there was no traces of E. coli wow. at all. Wow. So it's just a matter of how long you leave your shungite in the water for the length of time it takes 
to purify it. Right, okay. So most of the water that comes out of our taps is dead water. Mm -hmm. So it, by the time it's gone through all the piping and the procedures, there's really not much in the way of nutrients left in the water for us. But by putting a piece of shungite, like this is the perfect piece for, you know, a yeah, litre, litre, mm -hmm. litre of half of water. Yeah. And I tend to leave it overnight. So I put it in okay. the night before, leave it and then start drinking the next day. But if it was stream water or dirty water, you mm. would try and leave it for three days right. to ensure, right. knowing that information about the E. coli, yes. that you may as well copy yeah. that same yes. principle yeah. and leave it for as long as you can. Yeah. So we tend to have a couple of jugs on right. the go. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And one of the magical things as well about Shungite, so we love Tesla yeah. and um, his uh, belief in the power of the number of three, six and nine and said that the, you know, the future of medicine will be the future of um, energy, frequency yes. and vibration. Yeah. Um, also, what happens is when three pieces of shungite get together, they create an extra coherent energy field. Ah, so okay. making it more stable and more effective. Wow. So you have one, amplifies with two, amplifies with three. And so quite often we sell these as a three right. because of that extra effect. Right. And then it creates an extra energizing form so it can energize the water. And that's actually adding nutrients and goodness into the water as well that you didn't have when you started sure. with the tap water that yes. comes out. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a nice alternative, yeah. a natural alternative to purifying your water. Yeah. And it's used in agriculture. You know, in the agricultural industry, they know all about it. Okay. And they use it for carbon filters because, well, I didn't say at the beginning, but this is... 98% carbon, okay. a piece like this. So it has a lot of fullerenes. Um, and also fullerenes are known as the antioxidant of the 21st century. So when it's all that goodness you can imagine, yes. that's all coming into our bodies through the water. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. And, it, and also just by being on us, yeah. really. Yeah. And then a piece like this, this beautiful sphere. It is, it's wonderful. It's a yes. fabulous piece, yeah. isn't it? This stunning geometric shape here, which creates a harmonious flow in rooms, so it's really good in bedrooms, in main living rooms where lots of people are. That lovely flow there. This is sort of 35 to 40 percent carbon, right. which means it can be shaped. Okay. So all of the things that you can see that have shape or form mm -hmm. like this have all um, they're all about 35, 40 okay. percent carbon, like okay. the, the necklaces, yes, etc. Yes, yes, so, yes, yeah gives you an idea but yeah sure so the ones that are in, in form like these here compared to these ones here yeah. there is a difference yeah there's a difference and this is just so brittle as well so right. if you drop that on the floor it probably breaks oh really so okay. you need to be careful when when yes. you're using the elite yeah. um you know we do do necklaces mm -hmm. and one of the most interesting things about the shungite is because it's removing toxins all the time the glue Okay. that's used to put the pin in sometimes can be eaten away right. completely dissolves by the shungite right so sometimes we've had it that the pin falls out yep. you have to glue it back in and push it back in okay. but it's okay. not a fault of the thing it's no, just no, no, it's no, just no. the it's power the of yeah. the shungite yes, yeah. of yeah, what it's yeah, doing yeah, yeah. so that's quite a, a novelty thing it's no. like okay yeah. it does seem to have a mind of its own somehow <laughs> uh, a bit of ai intelligence yeah, yeah 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 that's another another topic altogether yeah um what is your ultimate goal with what you're doing I think raise awareness, yep. raise awareness for solutions to problems. Mm -hmm. I think we're bombarded with a lot of fear out, out there at the moment that there's all these things and all these things going wrong everywhere, yes. but we just got to not panic. Don't yep. panic, Sure. take a breather and just look for solutions. Yes. There are always, like the same with medicine, mm -hmm. you know, you can have a headache, you can run for an ibuprofen, or you could get some peppermint essential oils and rub it on your temples. Yes. Yes. It's yes. choice yes. and it's just to empower people to realize that you, you're not alone no. there are lots of people that are concerned about these things but do your due diligence you yes. know do some research yes. um and you know start looking into things yeah. like shungite if you're concerned especially if you're emf sensitive right because that is a huge problem yeah, for, yeah. for those um yeah. those who are watching what's emf oh electromagnetic frequencies yes yeah. so just if you, if you weren't too sure from there and, and you get that from 
your phones, the computers, the TV, five G towers, and 5G. super five, super sensitive um, individuals are, can't even find a place to be in the world because right. we're so over bombarded. Yes. So there are a few places where there's little or less um, EMF radiation from mm. everything, mm. but for them, you know, it becomes quite problematic. Yep. You know, even having to wear EMF protective clothing. And that, but you're seeing now more and more people are becoming more sensitive. sensitive they you are, know? They it's are, it's they the are. same as like the canary in the coal mine. Yes, that was a warning sign for gases and things like that. Yes. But actually, unfortunately, now we've got too many people that are becoming that, yeah. um, and we're seeing that translate into things like it developed into cancers sure. and, and things. So sure. it's just about what we can do to yeah. to help our health, really. Um, well, it is, and it's the choice that we have is that we take the the power ourselves or we give our power away you know which we've talked about um, ourselves separately and uh, another another cast in that as well is that you know we have a choice we either you know do the, it's like the blue and the red tablet or you know we go to the pharmacy or the doctor for any little thing instead of taking responsibility for ourselves and looking at Shungai and other areas where we can take back control ourselves because if we have a flu or we have uh, something that's going on with the body, it's going to take a few days for it to, to clear anyway, isn't it? It's not just going exactly. to happen like that. Yep. And with, with the pharmaceutical medicines, it certainly blocks the natural healing process that we have. But this doesn't. This no. allows it to, to flow and to come out. Absolutely. Yeah. It just like enhances things, speeds the process up, really, yeah. which is yeah. really nice. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Um, and is there um, one person that you admire with, with the work that you're doing or any other areas and why? I think at the moment I really admire my sister. Yep. Uh, we've been in business together now about four years and uh, she really does have resilience. Um, she's stuck by me through all of these adventures, where whatever pathway we've gone down, or yes. whatever route we've done. Um, you know, there are so many people I admire, like in the in the in the great media world, etc. But sure. sometimes I think it's nice to bring it to the local, like yes. the man in our local village who sells our organic veggies, and right. he has everything from Mallorca. You know, so you've got lots of choice, and he's just there day in, day out. Yeah. You know, delivering this service to the people. Yes. But again, coming back to my sister, she's just such a kind, caring, reliable person mm. that for me, she's really my my roots, my my base for me to go out and do what I do. Yes. Um, and obviously, I give a lot of talks about Shungite and talk about all different subjects, bees. Um, essential oils, lots of the areas that I'm interested in, yes. bioresonance right. and all of those areas that I, are, are interest to me. She's always there as my as my backbone, and, yeah. and I yeah. really appreciate that. It's great, that. it really is. Yeah, like, and, nice. and to be a family member as well. I'm, I'm, yeah. And so together in so many different areas, you know, spiritually, yeah. mentally, yeah. emotionally. Yeah. In fact, like, actually, we've come together um, even more so right. since COVID and yes. since the passing of our parents. Yeah. We somehow have seemed to morph onto that same pathway, and our views and our values and our beliefs and our ethics are this, are very very similar. Yeah, and uh, it's nice; it's good for all the family, and it's good for the people that we know yes. around us that yeah. we are quite a strong unit yeah, and fantastic. support. Yeah, fantastic. Keep the families together. But it's important. Families, communities. Yeah. So important now. So yep. important. More important more than ever before. Is there one thing that you'd like people to, to take away from today that, that you feel is important for them? I think just to keep an open mind, you know, really just don't accept everything that you've ever learned or heard of or thought of or been told as mm -hmm. read. You yeah. know, there are lots and lots of different things going on in our world. And mm -hmm. I think be that curious person who just wants to find out more about this look do like i say do your research yes and um you know if you want to know more about shungai you can always you know come to us and sure. i have a open day every tuesday at my home yes i must remember that come yeah to that yeah you must come yeah, yeah, yeah in fact i've got some interesting people coming up this tuesday oh, actually, have you? Okay. so you okay. maybe this tuesday would be good yeah um so from 12 till 3 and it's really a, a space just hold space for right. people so they can come and we have a chat sometimes yeah. we have a soup and other people will bring things to share right but nice. it is really a space for community yes. where we can be free to speak 
and there's no judgment right. and anyone can come Wonderful. and we might talk about you like we might not we yeah. might yeah. I've had a few spiritual people who've done some beautiful ceremonies and nice. things it just depends I, I right. never know so when it's so yes, it's just yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. You know, I don't know who's coming when you know right. how and, and uh, yeah, yeah that's really good fun do you feel this is part of like your outlook on life is what you're offering, what you're, what you're giving and sharing with people. Yeah, very much. It's yeah. all about networking and connecting. Yeah. For me, I really see if we can help spread our community and mm-hmm. put more like-minded people so they feel a sense of yes. community because yes. I think it's been we've been so divided yeah. through the COVID period mainly. That really has been a, a fundamental mm-hmm. separation. Mm-hmm. And what we're trying to do is reunite, like magnetise all of these people back yes. into groups yeah. so that they don't feel alone, so no. that they feel that their voice is heard, yes. so that they're understood and know that they're not being judged yeah. because that's yeah. really yeah. important. You know, none of this shame on you for this or no. this or that and the no. other. No. It's like, listen, we're here to help and, yeah. and provide that space yeah. really. Yeah. So. And I think, you know, with the COVID thing, it sort of backfired from the people that, uh, you know, to the bigger story of what actually happened and what actually has gone down is that it has brought people together more. Yeah, and it's made people look at their lifestyle. It's made them think yep. about maybe we're going to grow our own vegetables. Maybe yep. we're going to get some chickens. Maybe yep. we're going to get bees like me. Yeah, you know, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe. I yeah. mean, and I think I think it's been healthy in that yeah. sense. I mean, we've obviously been through a lot of trauma and tragedy through that same yes. period of time. Yeah. Not yeah. to not to you know pull wool over that, but no. um, you know, and to all those that have lost during that time, horrendous. Yes. Yes. But you know, there will, as always, out of the darkness, yes. there comes light. Yeah, for sure, so for sure. I believe that. So yeah, fantastic, really. Shun guide, really interesting. Um, if you have a chance, like, share, subscribe to our, our channel down below as we bring you more really fascinating, interesting people of what they're doing for, for the community and for the world. How do people get in contact with you? What's the best way for them to, to, to reach Well, you? we have an online shop at okay. uh, Angel of Wellness. So it's www.angelofwellness.co.uk. Okay, we'll maybe put this below. We might put it up top, depending on how Cam <laughs> organises. But we'll certainly have the contact details um, underneath of the video. Yep. Yep, and then um, we are on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So we have angel.of.wellness on Instagram. We have Shungite Sisters. Shungite Sisters. Shungite right, Sisters, yes. which is me and my sister. And also, we've just started on the new adventure of TikTok, which wasn't our plan. Neither <laughs> of us. There was a lot of resistance to okay. going on TikTok. But really about communicating and yeah. educating through that medium right. is actually quite a useful sure. tool. And again, mm-hmm. that's just Shungite Sisters. Yes. So if you want to know little bits, little clippings of things we've said, there's so much to talk about yeah. that, you know, is too difficult in, in sure. just one sitting. Sure. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, we, can, yeah. we can talk and talk, but uh, you can go there as a, a good starting Fantastic. point. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Oh, it's it's lovely having you here. We're going to have you back in soon because... Bees is a big topic and we don't want to get into too much at the moment, but oh my gosh, there's some wonderful information that, uh, that Catherine is going to share with you on that one as well. So thank yeah, you. Wonderful that. having you. Yeah, really. thank you so much. Yeah, thank that you. was good. Um, a big thank you to our to our sponsors, Jim at Dreaming.eu and Boutique Hotel Leonardo here in Portals. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you all very soon.